Hi rainbows and welcome to another royal kids that never happened video. This is the second one of these videos that I am doing. I will link the first one below. The sims that you guys are about to see or the kids that you're about to see is from couples from my royal family series. These couples either dated and broke up or they went on a date or they just had a crush on each other. As this video is being posted, the last royal family episode that came out was season two, episode 62. So there's going to be some spoilers in this video if you are not caught up yet. The couple's kids that we're going to see in this video are Amira and Johan, Kimmy and Charles, Diana and Makai, Cornelius and Anya, Jabari and Azara, Adric and Genevieve, and Charles and Araminta, which I think is the big one that everyone wanted to see. I saved them for last and I'm so excited for you guys to see their kids. So if you're excited, make sure you hit that like button and let's go ahead and see these royal kids. Okay, so first couple we are seeing the kids of are Amira and Johan. I'm doing this a little different differently than I did the first video. It's like a speed cast. I haven't done one of these in a while. I should do more. Actually, I should do more. If you have any suggestions on other speed casts, I think that's what they're called, on other ones you wanna see in the future, definitely let me know in the comments below. But we are going to be seeing the toddlers of each of the couples, and I did a girl and a boy for each of the couples too. In the last one that I did of this, we did not do Amira and Johan because I still, or we still weren't sure if they were gonna end up together. And actually, since Johan is currently married to Sidira, which is Amira's cousin, they don't look exactly alike, but they have a lot of the same features. I mean, obviously they're related. So what you guys are seeing is actually my second attempt at making their kids because the first time the kids just looked exactly like Molly Grace and Frederick. And I was like, well, that's no fun. You guys probably wanna see the kids looking a little bit different. So this is the second attempt that I did. I think both of the kids are a pretty good mix of both Amira and Johan. They're so cute. Yeah, with Amira, I really had no idea who her end game was going to be for a while. I was definitely a Makai and Amira shipper for a long time. I don't think I ever really planned for Amira and Johan to end up together though, but I'm happy with how things turned out with Amira and Jabari. I think they're really good for each other. I think Sadir and Johan are really cute too. I mean, Amira and Johan though, they made some really beautiful kids. I especially love the girl too. She's so cute. She definitely does look like Molly Grace still a bit, just with blonde hair, but I think she looked different enough that it wasn't the same. She has a lot of Amira's features. She has Amira's nose and I think she has her eyes too. She definitely has her eye color. I also think she has her eye shape. And then I named the kids Sophia and Celestino and those are the middle names of Frederick and Molly Grace, or one of them from Molly Grace. But yeah, I think they're super cute. The boy looks a lot like Johan, but he has Amira's eyes, which are so cool. Johan's jeans like are really strong apparently, because I think Molly Grace and Frederick look a lot like Johan. And then when I did this the first time, Johan's jeans just like overpowered everything. But I think these kids, the way they turned out, were a really good mix. They're super, super cute. I love them a lot. The next kids that we are seeing are Kimmy and Charles's kids. These kids were so attractive. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I think we had a few Charles and Kimmy shippers and their situation was definitely different than the other couples that are in this video. I just remember that Charles and Araminta, they were talking at the time and planning on getting back together and possibly running away together. And then Charles and Kimmy had hooked up at the party. And I think when it happened, neither Charles or Kimmy like expected a relationship out of it. Like I think they both knew it was just like a hookup and they were kind of friends before it happened too, but I think they lost touch afterwards because Charles was trying to make it up to Araminta. So he kind of avoided talking to Kimmy. So it was just like a big thing. But the boy, you guys will see, definitely looks a lot like Charles and he got Philip's eye color, Kimmy's dad's eyes, which I love the violet eye color that Arya has. So it passed, like it was passed down because even Kimmy doesn't have that eye color. She has more of like a, they're not nay his eyes because they're not completely brown, but they're like a brownish red. They're really pretty. But the boy got the violet eyes and they're so cute. I named him Philip. He has the blonde curly hair too. And then I named the girl Ashanti. I think it's a really pretty name and she's gorgeous. She's so, so pretty. And she got Charles's eyes. So that was interesting too. I love the mix that each of the kids got that you guys will see. But yeah, the boy does look a lot like Charles. He has, I call it the Windenburg nose now because Henry, he had that nose shape. Charles has it. I don't think Kellen had it. I think Kellen had his mother's nose, but it, I call it the Winnenberg nose for the boys. He's so cute. Yeah, he looks a lot like Charles, but with Kimmy's dad's eye color. But I think there's still, like I 
think his mouth shape? I maybe not. I don't know. I think he mostly got Charles's features. I honestly don't see a lot of Kimmy in him besides the eyes. I think everything else was pretty much the same. But he's cute. It's like a almost like a softer version of Charles, kind of. I don't know if that makes sense. That's kind of what I saw. And then the girl. Oh my god, Ashanti looks so much like Kimmy, but with Charles's eye color. It's so cool. She's gorgeous. Like Kimmy is already so unique looking. She has so much of her dad's features in her. I love it. And I love that got passed down to her. I mean, it's not her real daughter, but like the daughter between her and Charles. I've actually never tried to see what Makana and Kimmy's kids would look like. So I'm curious though. I hope that they have a lot of Kimmy's features in them. Just being able to see that passed down from Philip and like having his legacy live on and stuff. I just think that's so sweet. I hope a lot of Philip's grandkids have his eye color. I just think it's a nice way to remember him by because he's the only Sim in the entire series that, I mean, he's only the original one that has that eye color and now Ari is the only one with that eye color. But yeah, they're so, so good looking. Okay, so next we have Diana and Makai. I'm so excited for you guys to see their kids. I think a good amount of people shipped Diana and Makai when I had shown that Diana had a crush on him. It was really no more than a crush. And actually at the time, I wasn't even sure if they were going to be Endgame or not. Like I was thinking about it, but I think I was leaning towards no the whole time. I think I was leaning towards no because I think the issue is with them. It was the same issue with Amira and Makai is just that Makai's home is Sulani. I just don't think I could see him living anywhere else. And then same thing with Diana and Amira too. It's just like they belonged in Windenburg, but I don't know. I thought it was cute and I'm happy with both of their end games too. I think Diana and Abraham are really good for each other, especially since Diana never really had someone to express like her artistic side with. And I think Makai and Lily are super adorable too. But yeah, I ended up, so because with The Sims, they either have the mother's or dad's hair, like there's really no in between. But with the boy, I did it like that reddish brown, it's supposed to be the light brown, but it has that reddish tint, just so it could kind of be like a combination of Diana's red hair and Makai's black hair. I kept the black hair on the daughter. I had debated doing the reddish hair or the brown hair, I guess, for her too. She looks so good with the black hair already, but she has Diana's eye. I mean, well, they both have green eyes, but Makai's eyes are a little bit more hazel, but she has Diana's eyes and a bit more of Diana's facial features too. She's so pretty. Like she's stunning. She's probably one of my favorite out of these kids. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite out of all of them too. But she, I think she's one of my favorites. I, there's one more that you guys need to see later though that I'll show you that is another one of my favorites. But she's so pretty, you guys, I love her. I would like played around with the curly hairstyles on her for a bit, but then I realized neither Makai or Diana have curly hair. They have more wavy-ish hair. So I didn't end up going with that. But she's stunning and I see so much of Diana in her face, but also so obviously so much of Makai too. I cannot get over how pretty she is, you guys. She's gorgeous. And both of the kids were mermaids too. I'm not showing pictures of their mermaid form. You guys can kind of see it for a brief second in the video, but both of them ended up being mermaids because of, obviously, because Makai's a mermaid. Oh yeah, I named the girl Layla and the boy Kai. But he was really cute too. And he, I think he got the Windenburg nose too. So that was passed down from Diana, which I thought was very interesting. I think he got a lot more of Diana in him than Makai. Yeah, I, I don't really see much of Makai in there. I mean, besides the fact that he's a mermaid and he has like the Sulani bod, but like, that's it. But he was really cute. And I love the reddish tint in the brown hair. I think that worked really well. Okay, so next is Cornelius and Anya. I'm gonna be honest, I never really thought they were good together, but so many people shipped them. And I was like, okay, let's have them go on a date. Let's we'll see what happens. And then that date didn't go well. And now Corn Boy has found his farm boy and they're very happy and Honestly, Anya is just happier alone. She works alone. She prefers to be alone. She doesn't like to rely on anyone. She just wants power. That's all she cares about. She loves power. And I don't think I've mentioned this in a video. I've mentioned this on the streams though, but I almost had Cornelius be like a tyrant king. Although I'm not 100% sure how well that would have worked because with the kingdoms, I don't see any of them as like an absolute monarchy, but I'm sure we would have figured something out. You guys always give really good suggestions, but I'm a lot happier 
with the way things turned out, I think it fits them so much better. Cornelius would have been so miserable with Anya. She would have manipulated him so much. I would have felt so bad. But the boy is so cute, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I think he got a really good mix of both Anya and Cornelius. The girl, <laughs> the girl got a lot of Anya in her and she had, I think it's the eyebrows that make her look so mean, but she got like the mean looking eyebrows, but then she also got Cornelius's pout. Like he has that frown, that just natural frown that he got from his aunt, Lady Marjorie, which is his mother, Corinne's sister. So both of those combined, she kind of looks really mean, but she's so cute. I think she's so pretty. I just think that it's so funny, like the mix that she got of both of them. Okay, so next we have Jabari and Azara's kid. Kids. It's funny because I didn't even plan to add Azara or show Azara when I first introduced Jabari, but I had just mentioned that Jabari had an ex-fiance, so he had gotten out of a bad relationship, they had a bad breakup, and then people kept asking and saying like, oh, I wonder if Jabari's ex is gonna show up, like to cause some drama, and I really did not plan on her showing up at all. Even in an episode, I was like, okay, his ex is not showing up, guys, like don't expect that. And then I got an idea for a scene, the one where Amira slaps Azara, and I was like, okay, I have to do this. So she's actually been in the series a lot more than I had ever planned. I mean, well, I didn't plan on having her at all, but I didn't even know how much she would be in the series after that either. But I just wanted to do this scene so badly because Amira at the time, she was just going through so much because it was after May's death and she hadn't been like, she hadn't been able to stick up for herself or anything. So I think that slap was like, her fighting back and like getting the teenage side of her back. But yeah, their kids were gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The girl, I named her Amai. She was so, so pretty. The boy's really cute too. I think they both got a really good mix of both Azara and Jabari. I can see that's definitely Jabari's nose. Kabin and Adric, I think Elon too. They all have that nose shape, but I think the eyes are Azara's. I think the mouth might be Jabari's. I'm not hundred percent sure. Actually, I'm just now realizing this. So I've, I've seen Cedric aged up into a teen and he looks like I can see, I think it's the mouth, like the nose below. He's got a bit of Cedric in him, which means that Cedric got that from Jabari, which I think is interesting. Okay, so the next kids we're seeing are Genevieve and Adric's kids. So they were like, I'm pretty sure people are probably surprised to hear that they were even a thing, because I think a lot of people had forgotten. I don't think we ever saw them go on a date or anything. They just flirted once at a social event, and then I had had talked about them possibly going on another date, but then they just decided that they were better off as friends. And I just don't think they really meshed well together. I think both of them have very specific types that the other one doesn't match at all. Like with Adric, his type is definitely Desta. I think Desta is perfect for Adric. And Genevieve's man you guys are gonna meet in the next episode. And I think he's perfect for Genevieve too. But their kids were really cute. They made some attractive kids. Not gonna lie, the boy you guys will see, he just looks exactly like Adric. <laughs> like I barely see any Genevieve in him. I see a lot of Genevieve in the girl though. They were both really, really really cute for sure. I gave the toddler boy, I gave him Adric's hair. I thought it was so cute on him. The fact that he had the same hair as his dad as a toddler. I don't actually remember, did I pick that? No, I went with something different for him when he is older. But yeah, you can see the nose shape too that Jabari and Azara's boy had, the nose shape on him as well. I named him Amari, but he just looks exactly like Adric. I probably should have tried to randomize again to see if I could get one that looked a bit more like Genevieve too. I really don't see much of Genevieve in him. Maybe the eyes a little bit, but everything else for sure is Adric. He's very cute though. I think giving Adric that hair, the one that he has on right now, was the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> he looks so good in it. The girl, her, I named her Taylor. She's so cute. She has a lot of Genevieve in her. I love her. Yeah, like that's Genevieve's nose. I'm pretty sure Genevieve's face shape, probably Genevieve's eyes, probably mouth too. I think it's a lot of her facial features, but then added with like a little bit more of the curly hair and stuff. She just looks so good. And the last one is Araminta and Charles. I was so excited to do this because I've actually never tried to see what Charles and Araminta's kid would look like or kids, what they would look like at all. So what I ended up doing with the boy specifically, I gave him brown hair because I just thought it would be, in I mean, like it's not impossible for the kid to either get blonde 
blonde hair or black hair. Actually, the girl has black hair like Araminta, but it's much more common to have brown hair for mixed kids, at least the ones that I know. I'm also a mixed kid and my hair is brown, but my dad's mixed and his hair is black, so yeah. But I'm obsessed with the boy. You guys are gonna see him when he ages up in just a second. The girl is so pretty too. I love that she has Charles's eyes, the blue eyes. It looks so good. I, You guys are seeing her with brown hair for a bit, but I ended up just going with the black hair. I think it was because she had Charles's eyes and I didn't know how much of Araminta would be in her. So I went with the black hair just so she had more of Araminta in her. But yeah, for the longest time, I had planned for Charles and Araminta to be Endgame. And I, uh, I had mentioned before, I almost had them run away together. And I hadn't gotten far enough to decide what would happen to Guangxi if they did run away together, because then Anya would have been Empress when Zhao died. And I think that Araminta at the time with her and Charles when they had broken up, she didn't know how evil Anya was yet. Otherwise, I don't think she would have been as willing to run away with him and like leave the kingdom in her hands. Also, yes, look, look how cute this boy is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with him. I think he's one of my favorites. It's him and Diana Mackay's daughter. I think they're my two favorites. But yeah, anyway, so the whole thing happened with Charles and Kimmy and Aramint and Charles had broken up and then I fell in love with Han and a lot of people, I think you guys fell in love with Han too. I'm so glad she ended up with Han. Han and Araminta are just so perfect for each other and they're so cute. He loves her so much. They love each other so much and their kids are so cute. And I think Charles and Fallon are really perfect for each other too. Like they just vibe so well together. Charles, I think changed a lot over the years. And I think after going to uni and stuff, like I guess just found who he is. And Fallon and him, like they're so goofy, they're so cute. But yeah, their kids were so attractive. I'm so glad I got to see what their kids would look like because I hadn't. So that's why I was so excited for this video. But all these kids, so they're uploaded on the gallery. I uploaded them based on each couple. So they're all uploaded separately and they're uploaded as teens. So it's the two teenagers, the kids, and then the parents of those kids. My gallery ID is in the description below. But let me know which one of these kids is your favorite. Let me know if you were still a shipper for any of these couples. I'm very curious. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.